Thursday night in Kansas City, they got their rings. And with the first pick in the 1993 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers no, suggest or select. No, 1990. What, that, that, that big suit? Is, are they coming back with like the big oversized double-breasted suit? Because I got some. There's Patrick That's... Mahomes looking clean. It's time for the rings. Hey, I'm just happy that Kelsey didn't wear a jacket that had what Sims calls the crotch sleeve. There's the ring. Awesome. And what we see now, the Buccaneers started this two years ago where the ring has a lid that comes off and there's a stadium inside of it. This was great too. And Petty Mahomes is trending this morning, Miles, because that is Patrick Mahomes sticking it to Jamar Chase who said, Pat who? The other day when he was asked if Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL, he was just taking up for his guy, Joe Burrow. Burrow had already conceded Patrick Mahomes is the best. But there is Patrick Mahomes with the message that he tweeted, that's who, with two rings. And, uh, boy, it just feels like it's just a matter of time before there's a third or a fourth. Although, I was talking to my son about this last night. Once you win, once the confetti falls and you have the parade and you get the ring, you forget how hard it was to get there. Beyond just qualifying for the playoffs, and the Chiefs find a way to do it every year, but think about it. They've never played a road playoff game with Mahomes, but they still have only won two Super Bowls in his five years as a starter. It's a 40% success rate. They could have won it five straight years. Frankly, six if they had benched Alex Smith in 2017 when the offense was struggling in November and unleashed Mahomes on the football world then. So it's hard to do it. Look what they had to do against the Jaguars. Mahomes injures his ankle. They had to hold it together with the 98-yard drive by Chad Henney. Long enough for Mahomes to come back. Then against the Bengals, I thought Cincinnati was going to win the game. I thought Cincinnati was going to win the damn game. Right down till the end. Until Chris Jones wreaked havoc on Joe Burrow. Then I thought it was going to overtime until Joseph Asai hits Patrick Mahomes out of bounds and gives them the 15 yards that that becomes the winning field goal. And then they're down 10 points in the second half of the Super Bowl. This is hard to do. And now you got to go back to zero and zero and everybody is going to try to beat the chiefs. The schedule is tougher this year and, and they're still going to be in it, but man, you got to thread a series of needles to win a Super Bowl in today's NFL. You do. And that's why nobody has repeated as Super Bowl champion since the 2004 Patriots, right? I mean, it is that hard to get in a position to do it. So, yeah, I mean, they had the chance to win it, uh, you know, two in a row a couple of years ago when they were playing the Buccaneers, but that was Tom Brady's last stand, and Tom Brady needed to get seven. So the football gods smiled on the Buccaneers that year. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that Patrick Mahomes thinks it's easy to do. And listening to his comments this week, some of his comments last night, you know, uh, when before the ring ceremony, it's kind of like, no, this is the last chance that you take to celebrate what happened before. But now it is a new year. It's a new season. And we have to do things that are going to put us in position to win us another one. I mean, why else? Would Patrick Mahomes bring all those guys down to Texas? Why else would Patrick Mahomes be throwing with different guys before the draft, including Rashi Rice, who the Chiefs ended up drafting? I think he has an understanding that it's not easy to do this year after year after year, and you have to put in every single bit that you can of yourself into it in order to get out of it, or in order to get out of it what you want. You know, and that's why he also seems to take every little thing as a slight and he pays attention to everything. And that's why he puts out that's who he is the petty king. And I think that that's what the great ones kind of do. Right. What do we learn about Michael Jordan in that documentary that came out during the pandemic? He took everything personally, and it led him to be more motivated to have more success. It seems like that Patrick Mahomes is on that same track. And I just love that we get to talk about what he does for a living because it's so fun to watch. Back in the 70s when the Steelers won four Super Bowls, and I don't know if Terry Bradshaw said it at the time or if he said it after, and I'm paraphrasing, but he would find himself depressed after winning a Super Bowl because what do you do for an encore? You just go try to do the same thing that you've already done. There's no new mountain to climb. It's the same mountain over and over again. That's where that motivation comes from. Tom Brady, uh, Tom Brady, Tom Petty. You're getting me all mixed up here with Petty Mahomes, Tom Petty, Tom Brady, and Tom is Petty as well. Anything. Yeah. Make it up if you have to like Jordan did. Brady does that. Mahomes will do that eventually. He'll get whatever he can 
to motivate himself to keep going. And here's the difference between Brady and Mahomes. Brady had a goal of four. Mahomes has a goal of seven. Mm -hmm. See, he's chasing something that Brady didn't have to chase. Once Brady got to four, he was stretching the rubber band farther than it's ever been stretched. Mahomes knows he needs seven. And how different we'd feel, Miles, if the Chiefs had won Super Bowl 55 and Brady would be stuck on six and Mahomes would already be halfway there, assuming that they would have still won it last year. I mean, you have... But but all other things equal, yes. it would be 6-3 versus 7-2, and that's a huge difference. It is a huge difference, but, you know, I mean, like Tom Petty, I don't think Patrick Mahomes is going to back down, right? And I mean the singer that time. But it, it's one of those things where, you look, Tom Brady always talked about what's your favorite Super Bowl ring, and he said the next one, right? I, I It seems to me that Patrick Mahomes also has that kind of mentality where it's not just, oh, you know, we've done this, hooray, great. It's no, no, no. We're still in this. You know, we talked about, you know, I'm not going to have Travis Kelsey forever. I'm not going to have Chris Jones around me forever. So let's continue to maximize what we've got here. And I think because of that mentality at the top of the roster, it sets the tone for everybody else. That's something that I absolutely, I think, trickles down. And when you have that kind of guy who is that kind of motivated, I think it helps make their entire roster as competitive as it has been since Mahomes has been the starter. And regardless of where it goes from here, the bottom line is last night, and Mahomes said it this week, last night was the final occasion to celebrate the 2022 achievement, get your Super Bowl ring, Petty Mahomes and company could have their last dance with Mary Jane, and then move on to 2023, which is what they're doing. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.